Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and here the top stories we are tracking for you on Wednesday, the 21st of February. PM Modi meets Greek counterpart in New Delhi, inaugurates Raisina Dialogue. Analysts flag lack of hope from Pakistan's coalition government. And engagement with Afghanistan Taliban important, says Russian in war. And now for all the details. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Wednesday held a bilateral meeting with his Greek counterpart who is on his maiden state visit to India. The reciprocating visit, which comes months after a similar visit of PM Modi to the Hellenic Republic, saw the two leaders discussing a wide array of topics including areas of defence and security, maritime, trade and investment, cultural ties among others. Later in the day, the two leaders also inaugurated and addressed the inaugural session of the ninth edition of Raisina Dialogue, New Delhi's flagship conference on geopolitics and geoeconomics. Bharat and Greece relations were already elevated to strategic partnership during Prime Minister Modi's visit to Greece in 2023, and the latest visit is further expected to strengthen and deepen bilateral cooperation. And as Indian farmers' protests entered day eight, police on Wednesday fired tear gas on them as they tried to break barricades and march towards the Indian capital, New Delhi. Some farmers were seen wearing gas masks to counter the tear gas that the police used in the past as well to try and disperse the protesters. The agitating farmers have rejected the government proposal of guaranteed support prices for pulses, corn and cotton, saying the deal is not in their favour. Our nivedan is that we want to go to Delhi. The government wants to go to खुद ब खुद अपने वो बैरिकेड्स हटाते हुए दिल्ली जाने की अनुमति दे वहां दिल्ली बैठने की व्यवस्था बना दे हमें कोई दिक्कत नहीं है लेकिन अगर फिर भी नहीं यह सरकार करना चाह रही तो फिर हमारी मांगे हैं वो मान ले the farmers mostly from the northern state of punjab have been demanding higher prices backed by law of their crops Authorities have thrown up barricades to keep protesters at a distance of nearly 200 km from New Delhi for more than a week. But police said the heavy machinery at Wednesday's gathering was intended for use in damaging them. And Pakistan's two major political parties have claimed they have reached a power-sharing deal following an inconclusive election ending days of uncertainty. But prominent journalist Tahir Aslam Gora has said there is less hope for the country's future. Analysts and common Pakistanis have expressed a lack of hope in the newly formed coalition government made up of former politicians of old powers. Leaders of PPP and the PMLN on Tuesday claimed they had reached a power-sharing deal to form the government, ending 10 days of intense negotiations following an inconclusive election. Prominent journalist Tahir Aslam Gora on Wednesday underscored the powerful army's role in making and breaking the government and said there is no hope from the coalition amid the dire economic crisis and terrorism. Look, the war has been the army. The Pakistan army should not be a prime minister. Otherwise, PPP and PMLN alliance does not suit both of them. और उनको सरकार भी सोच नहीं करती पाकिस्तान की जो इकोनॉमिक सिचुएशन है विच इज़ टेरिबल जो पाकिस्तान में टेररिज्म हो रहा है विच इज़ टेरिबल तो इस सारी सिचुएशन में सूट तो किसी को नहीं करता इवन तरीके इंसाफ वाले भी सरकार में नहीं बैठना चाहते उनको भी पता है तीन महीने बाद वो इतने बिल उनके सर पर आएंगे कि वो बिल बुला उठेंगे Look, I don't think that the new government is not a new government. This is a PDM2 government. And everyone wants to be two parties to be good with India. But the army will not be good with India. The government is the army. It is always the army that is running that country. It will also be the army that is running that country. 
Meanwhile, there has been growing unrest in Pakistan's over nearly 67% increase in the prices of natural gas amid its shortage, a report. Hotel owners and locals in Pakistan's financial capital Karachi are upset over 67% increase in the tariffs of natural gas while they are already facing issues due to its shortage. The decision was taken by the caretaker government to fulfill requirements of the IMF bailout program. Residents underscored the widespread despair among the populace, citing not only the gas price hike but also the overall inflation affecting household items. Pakistan's gas reserves are depleting fast while the supplies are shrinking. The country mostly meets its energy demands through imported and indigenous resources. Moving on. Russia's permanent representative to the UN, Vasily Nebenzia, on Tuesday emphasized that the world should engage with the Taliban and said people have no other option except for accepting them for who they are. The remarks came during a press briefing following the conclusion of the second Doha meeting on Afghanistan. In the meantime, the Foreign Ministry of Qatar in a statement said that the agreement on a logical path of engagement with Afghanistan is key. Since seizing power in 2021, the Taliban has imposed centuries-old Sharia law which includes public execution and flogging. They have banned women from working and have been deprived them from education. And as its economy stabilizes from a crippling financial crisis, Sri Lanka's inflation will return to the government's 5% target starting from the last two quarters of the year, a central bank official said on Wednesday. The high base effect from the tax increase is expected to benefit inflation in early 2025 and possibly even bring it lower than 5%, as Jajivan, director of central bank, said. The island nation has raised its value-added tax from 15 to 18% to meet IMF revenue targets, sparking an uptick in its key inflation rate, which rose to 6.4% at the end of January. However, the central bank has said price increases from the tax hike were unlikely to persist due to subdued demand and the economy operating below its full capacity. That's all in tonight's edition. We'll see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.